Sarah, I'm going to throw it straight at you. Let's have a chat about how you use Sales Navigate to define yourself some spicy leads. Yeah, sure. Definitely. Let me go ahead and share my screen because if you guys are not using Sales Navigator, like you got to get on it. It is the best thing that you could ever use. So I already have a few saved searches, but the best part about Sales Navigator is you can create lists for yourself based on who you're prospecting. So at Pareto specifically, I'm targeting C-suite level executives and VP levels of sales. So what I've created is a cheeky list of those exact types titles that have actually recently viewed my profile. And you can actually start to even filter it more based on company, company headcount, the role that they're in. And all of these are really going to be helpful. For example, if you have like a qualified method to meeting. So for example, a lot of us know that, um, you know, what, what a qualified meeting um, actually takes to, to be considered qualified in our, in our companies. And of course, it's going to be different for everybody. But for example, at Pareto, a qualified meeting counts as someone that you book it with at that C-suite level or VP level of sales that I just mentioned based in New York City because we can turn over that project really quick just simply because we're in New York City as well. Company headcount, I can actually add how many people I want in that business. For us, our sweet spot is 51 um, to 200. And then you can actually continue to scroll down. And as you could see, I filtered vice president here, C-suite. And the beauty of this entire list is that these are people at the C-suite level that are probably decision makers and can make a decision on bringing someone like Pareto on that have all recently viewed my profile. So boom, right there. If you have no hook, there's a hook for you right now. Hey, Gabriel, you know, calling. This is Sarah from Pareto. Just actually saw you visited my profile. Maybe considering that you saw one of my videos on TikTok or LinkedIn. Um, yeah. Do you have 30 seconds to chat? Can do the same thing with Chris, the same thing with Jonathan. These are all people that have visited my profile in the last seven days. So that's like an amazing way for you to build rapport with someone that you're going to cold call call or a LinkedIn message. It's such a great pickup line hook that you can use. And the fact that Sales Navigator created this list of leads for you is like the best thing ever. So this is just like one example of types of um, list that you can do. Um, but for example, you can really kind of put anything to the test. Like you can also just filter out, you know, companies that are looking to hire, for example. So for Pareto, we always target companies that are looking to hire SDRs and BDRs. So I can actually write in that function and search bar, like create a list for companies that are looking to hire that are between 51 and 200 people and show me the C-suite level. And the beauty of Sales Navigator, you can actually type that in right to the their brand new AI function. So you don't actually have to start clicking off all those, you know, um, toggles anymore of the filters that you want. You can actually type in right in Sales Navigator exactly what you're looking for. And it will actually shoot you out an entire lead list that you can save into your save searches. So it's just an amazing way to come in in the morning, already have that list created and you're ready to go and, and make some calls.